with the ever-increasing threat of socialism that is moving and overrunning our country, whether it be by the domestic terrorists that are ravaging our cities and destroying our businesses, or whether it be from the incoming Biden administration, which is so progressive that they are willing to collapse our entire country and economy just to push their socialist mindsets. We must be prepared to defend ourselves and to survive in any situation that arises. And with Lotus Operations, you will learn those tactics and skills that I have utilized or learned through my life. But in today's video, I am going to be actually showing you a prototype armor that I have created by blending many different ideals together into one to where if this works, and I hope it does, that I will be able to stop up to 30 full metal jacket AR-15 5.56 rounds. Hello everybody! So as I mentioned before, in today's video I am going to be building some homemade bulletproof armor. Now this is a prototype that I came up with by watching multiple other videos to where in one video titanium was shot and the Bullets only penetrated 4 millimeters into it for the 556 five, full metal jacket rounds. Another video where e fiberglass and ceramic plates were blended together. Basically, the uh, wall decor tile was blended together and was able to stop 762 rounds. And another video to where a full metal jacket green tip 556 five, round was shot at Home Depot style ceramic plates for your flooring, and it only took five plates to fully stop the full metal jacket round. So I am taking the ideals of, from both the titanium and the ceramic plates, combining them together, and hoping to actually create a vest that weighs, unfortunately, it's going to be about 10 to 12 pounds, but that can stop multiple 5.56 five, armor-piercing rounds. So let me Hello, everybody. Two. Welcome and back to day one for our attempt at building some body plate armor. But my version, uh, there's lots of versions out there on YouTube, but I have a theory by watching multiple videos of a combination that may end up working to where, unfortunately, it's not going to be lighter than armor you can buy online because I found armor that weighs less than 5 pounds. And each plate of ceramic weighs about 4 pounds, depending upon how much ceramic and what it is made of. So right here, we have already almost 12 pounds of weight here. Luckily... The titanium, which is inside this box, which I got from onlinemetals.com, weighs only a pound, one point like six pounds if I remember correctly. And then we're going to have the weight of the silicone and the weight of the duct tape, which will be used just to hold it all together for my prototype. So I'm guessing the entire vest itself is going to weigh about 13 pounds per plate. But this is my prototype, and we are going to go from there. Now, the ceramic tile costs a total of $8.52, and the titanium, which I retrieved from Amazon, cost me a total of, the actual price was a hundred and I think, $3, because I don't have my receipt. They don't say on the receipt the actual amount, but this is a one millimeter titanium. I originally wanted two millimeters thick titanium. I got two plates, but unfortunately the two millimeters was not available at the time frame and there was going to be a weight list and so I decided just to get two one millimeter plates because they are $51 a sheet. They were on discount from $75 a sheet and I'm not banking with the high rolling money so I'm going to push this vest to the limits. But that is basically what my channel is to do is to push things to the limit to see how far we can go to make stuff work while spending the least amount of money. Now, I know that you can have other materials that are fle not flexible, but that are cheaper than titanium and that can still stop bullets, but I'm trying to create a flexible style um, vest that basically can easily be bendable, yet cheaper than an online vest. Now my titanium here is has a yield of PSI of 48,600 p 
PSI and tensile strength of 72,500 PSI. So hopefully this stuff is strong enough to stop 5.56 five, full metal jacket rounds mixed in with my ceramics. Because I know a full metal jacket rounds already has about 5,500 PSI for a 55 grain bullet, if I remember correctly. So I know it's going to just titanium by itself punch through, but I'm thinking if we mix it in with the ceramic plates, it will actually be able to resist the bullets. And actually, you would be able to make a plate for only $110 at the moment okay so everybody here reverse. we go so what we are going to do is we are going to start filling in the silicone around the edges here throughout this thing here and we are going to take and we're going to smash it into this and then spread it around so we can create a silicone style base on all three of these so let's get this going And it doesn't matter if these get dirty because the silicone will act as a shock absorber which will help shot, send the shock of the bullets around your body instead of into your body. And it will keep a shrapnel from flying up and hitting you in the face. So first, we're going to get this thing. We're going to smear this here, nice and smooth going across. We're going to do it this way, pushing it down into the silicone. You want to seal up all the edges. Pushing it down into the base. Now, the pattern I'm going to be using for this is I'm going to be alternating this pattern as a circle, as a diamond mode, so that the lines do not line up. So it creates a stronger base seal around, and then whatever ones are left, we are going to pull them off. So we're going to do... The Now, we have this, we are going to put our first plate of titanium. Okay, everybody, you see I got a really good seal here, and we have our titanium here, our grade 2 titanium, 1 millimeter. And as you can see, it is kind of flexible. It is not extremely flexible, but for the video, it will work. So we are going to put this on top here, because actually... Yes, because we are going to put this plate of titanium here on top, here, and we are going to press it down because we are going to have this line up with these black things here to get it as even to the 12 inch square as possible. Line it up with the edges. We're going to press it down to create a seal. Then we are going to allow it to cure. Now silicone takes about a good 15 to 30 minutes to cure. So we are going to allow it to cure. Okay. So, 
we have our titanium here, our other piece here of our titanium. We are going to basically put stuff on this titanium, stick this piece on top of this piece, put these on top of this piece, and then let it do a full, full cure. So we're going to basically repeat the same process, coat this with silicone, put this on top of here, and then coat this with silicone and put the entire mechanism on top of here to create the plates. So let's begin that process. So round two silicone. So that means it's now $113. As you can see, it's a different type. It really doesn't matter which ones. We are just creating this to hold everything together. Come on, girls. Stop the pressure. We're just going to spread this around on the titanium so we can have a bonding surface across the entire thing. Now, before I put it in, as you can see, the silicone is through all the grooves, which will help create a seal. So we are going to do this here. We're going to flip this over on top of this. We're going to line these puppies up once again. The edges. Now, this is not my prototype, so I'm not cutting this out for my chest just yet. And now we'll slide this on top of here. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. Okay, everybody, here is the finished product. I cleaned up the edges that were sticking out, used those to fill in any spots that had parts that were falling down, except for this part, because the way it lined up, it would not fit. So this part right here will be the weakest part. So any bullets that hits it or along some of these weaker edges will not count towards our video. But we're going to look mostly towards the center mass to see how well it is. But we're going to let this dry 24 hours. Then we'll come back, wrap it up with duct tape, and then go from there. Hello everybody and welcome back to Lotus Operations for day three of making our homemade pro um, prototype armor from Titanium Ceramic Blend. Now as you can see everything is completely sealed and you see how we have the layers of ceramic, two layers, a titanium plate, another layer of ceramic, and a titanium plate at the end. So everything is cured now. In theory, if this works, it's going to shatter the three layers of titanium and never go through the back plate. If it fails, well, guess what? We get a cool video of something exploding. I haven't decided if it's going to be a watermelon or a pumpkin behind it yet. But let's begin wrapping the duct tape. Now, the reason why I'm going to use duct tape is to keep this shrapnel from blowing off everywhere and damaging the integrity more to weaken it down. The duct tape will help secure everything so that the concussions and the other stuff basically is more contained in here. But I'm also going to do another video where I'm going to test some without duct tape, test some with duct tape to see what is better. So let's begin the wrap. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it this way and then wrap it this way with a layer of duct tape each and then we will have fun waiting to be shot. Okay, everybody, here is the finished product of our prototype bulletproof vest, fully wrapped up in the duct tape. One layer one direction, one layer the other direction. And what I'm going to do now is just wait until I go to the gun range 
to be able to shoot it to do the um, test run on it I may paint my um, emblem on here for my YouTube channel but I'm going to make a couple more of these but without titanium I'm going to try different materials but I'm not going to show you all the videos for those it would basically be the same process but I will explain what is inside each one of those and then we are going to see um, so we have some fun shooting videos and but this is what I'm waiting to test and see if exactly if it's going to work or not.